I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, save it. I was gonna get Tiger his flowers this episode. Boy, I seen that shit in the notes. I said, "Fuck no." I'm a, I'm, I'm ready to shit on the garden. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm wait. I'm a, but Tiger man, he went platinum. Now, actually, he ain't go platinum, but he went diamond for taste. Congrats, do, do, do. nigga do, made do, do, a career do. out of being ass. Do, 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 do. You a hater. You made a career out of being a hater, man. Yeah. Real niggas of the week, not Joe. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I got AJ Wilson, three time WNBA MVP. Salute, salute, to her. salute. Real shit. I'm mad you 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 uh you with Bam. Should have been with me. I was just playing. She too tall for me. Yeah, I was gonna say two seven footers. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, whatever kid they have, bro, that nigga gonna be athletic like a motherfucker, bro. For real. That nigga gonna be a juggernaut. That nigga gonna be twelve and seven four. <laughs> I don't know if you seen that today, bro. They got that white boy. That boy. That white boy. Thirteen seven three. Nah, that's crazy, bro. They had, bro. Of course, you know, a thirteen uh, year old. What a thirteen year old be about like five four, nigga. Yeah, for real, bro. He out there playing with them kids. I'm like, bro, if y'all don't make him play with grown ass, for real, men, put bro. that nigga in varsity right now, <laughs> <laughs> bro. He would just hit. I'm gonna be honest. Shit. I'm gonna be honest, dog. If I, if I'm dunking on everybody <clears throat> at seven three. That's what he was doing, nigga. He was throwing. I'm jumping from the, the yeah. I'm jumping from the <laughs> free throw and everything. I'm having fun, nigga. And one mixtape. Oh, nigga. If I'm a, if I'm under the parents, I'm not about to watch my kid get dunked by seven three. Fuck kid. no. I'm, I'm gonna shoot to that nigga. All right, bro. I'm this joking. <laughs> but nah, real shit though. At seven three, I'm point guard. I don't give a fuck what. But I'm every position, nigga. I'm yeah. Magic Johnson. That's what he was. That nigga was in the. He was in the paint. He was everything. <laughs> Watch when he get grown, he gonna be ass. Yeah, they always be ass. All them kids <laughs> that be extra tall, they be ass when they get older. Yeah, it's like they don't develop nothing. They just, nothing they, at all. They be like I'm tall, nigga. <laughs> nigga develop height and that's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. And also, man, a lot of the time when them kids be that grown that quick, they bones get brittle because uh-huh. they be like, yeah, you're not supposed to be that tall fast, at that yeah. age. Yeah, they be like, bro, from uh, they be like, uh, they don't drink enough milk. Yeah, you'd be like Andre the Giant. Nigga said I'm drinking no milk, bro. That's crazy, man. Andre the Giant? What the fuck? That nigga was he, bro. That nigga was a giant. <laughs> yeah, his nigga, bone was all nigga. brittle. Yeah, his bone was his, He broke down because he was so big. Well, that's different. Hey, man, I hope I don't see Andre the Giant in that Vince documentary. What we find out, nigga, Andre the Giant was putting fists up women ass. Damn, nigga, that he would like, be insane. Come here. <laughs> that would be insane. I would definitely stop watching wrestling after that. Totally <laughs> fun, but I'm Andre the Giant. Oh Bring God. me that ass. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga going crazy. Yeah, I ain't trying to get canceled, bro. Oh, wait. Look what that money maker bitch do. That's right. actually fitting for this <laughs> Vince documentary. Yeah. Are we normal now? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we normal. All right, I got um next one I got. The Raptors organization? Man, fuck these niggas. I had I was debating in my head. I was like, should I get these Raptors? I just give it to Vince Carter because I was about to give it to the Raptors. I, I, I had to think about it for a second because I because I had I heard some um, intel. Apparently, they given uh, Vince Carter they return to the jersey, but apparently a lot of the higher ups don't want this to happen. Really? Yeah, man. Why? They I couldn't imagine. They don't like the way the nigga left the team. He did. He did lead. He did lead the team on some fuck shit. But still, man, he he made the Raptors cool back in the day. And not just that shit. Why wouldn't he lead the team? He had no chance of ever winning. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't give him nothing for real. Niggas watched the Raptors to watch Vince Carter. Well, till T Mac was over there. Yeah, they were fired, bro. They yeah. they didn't develop T Mac. They traded T Mac, yeah. and T Mac went to Orlando. Mm-hmm. Went crazy. That nigga, he was wilding though. His last, his last year with the Raptors, he was like playing ass. 
As soon as he went to the Nets, he was turning that up. Nigga, that nigga went crazy when he went to the Nets. But still, man, y'all niggas, man, he changed, he changed the culture for y'all niggas. For real. He had niggas wearing Raptors jerseys. I ain't never seen a nigga wear a Raptors jersey until till T-Mac was Not T-Mac. Yo, uh, T-Mac too. and Vince Carter yeah, yeah. was on the team. Yeah. They both changed the culture. Now, T-Mac don't deserve nah, to get a jersey. T-Mac, T-Mac <clears throat> definitely, you know, had some shine there. But T-Mac shined when he left. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It was Vince Carter team when he was on the rap. <coughs> yeah, it was some it was some higher ups. They said they wanted Kyle Lowry jersey retired before him. Bro, Kyle Lowry still play, bro. Nigga, that's insane. No, no. Kyle Lowry's a, a Raptors legend. He won a ring too there. I'll too. give you that. You but respect I'll him. give you that. But <coughs> not a Vince Carter bro, we only talk about the Raptors because of Vince Carter. Let's be honest, bro. Kyle Lowry the best Raptor ever. I give you that. Yeah, he the best rapper ever. I would definitely. So give yeah, you that. definitely retired Kyle Lowry, but the nigga still playing, and he probably yeah. gonna play about a year or two more. Yeah, he might stretch three out, depending on depend, he, depending on what Philly do. I don't know. You can't call that nigga <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bro, I ain't calling that nigga. <laughs> yeah, y'all hey, that y'all was nigga. a freaky ass goatee that nigga Vince Carter had in that picture too. Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty work. What they call that shit? The soul patch? I don't, I don't know what that is. They call that shit the flavor saver. D- d- oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, next one. nigga had a landing strip on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> nigga look like. Nigga look like. Know who you look like? You know, Frozone? <laughs> That's hilarious. Like Frozone, bro. He does. Uh, I got this nigga, Reggie. I got a lot of real niggas of the week this week. I though. see. I got this nigga Reggie Bush, man. He finally getting his reparations from the plant, from the college football plantation. I'm gonna get. I think he gonna get it. They tried to shadow ban this nigga. He's like, nah, run me my coins, bro. Y'all got the NIL now. Give me all that money, bro. All Shut that up. infringement y'all was doing. Yep. Give me, give me my money. You think he gonna get something? Uh, I don't because I don't think <clears throat> that they fuck with him in South. I mean, in um, um, in California. But I hope he does. Honestly. Yeah, they said he was fucking too many Kardashians. Yeah. Uh, speaking of people getting their reparations, I had no idea about this, but shout out to Tiny, T.I., and the OMG girls. They win a massive $71 million award because from a infringement from this doll company called LOL Surprise. Never heard of them. Y'all probably might have uh, bankrupt them motherfuckers. I never heard For of them. For real, shit. 73 mil is crazy. Yeah. 17 I mean 17 million dollars in damages 53 million in punitive damages yeah yeah man salute to them that's another bag for TI and the change added up to make it you know <coughs> yeah I, I actually had to I forgot to post the picture bro they blatantly stole them girl images like it was like dis- disgustingly the way they stole the images yeah it was crazy I got this one nigga I don't know bro name but he uh he was fucking this one girl she was cheating on her man. I guess after they got done doing what they're doing, he grabbed her phone and, and uh, left some voice messages for her man it's crazy. on her phone. Uh, Marvin. I got your dime. She want Marvin. me to. She met. She Marvin. just let me fuck her. She just oh, let me fuck her, dirt. I was just fucking the shit out of her. Then I seen you in the message. We done. Keep her. Uh, She's a slut. Uh, she was talking shit about you and all, son. Uh, yeah, she- Damn, that's some real shit, bro. Salute him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. The last text was, it's a celebration. I guess it's not a celebration no more. Yeah. All right. This may, this may sound crazy. I got V's dad as, as my uh, real nigga of the week. Yeah. I ain't know V's had a dad, bro. I've been seeing a nigga on social media lately, but I ain't know it was V's dad. Yeah, this is dad, bro. He got all this. I don't know why he got up at the shop, but the nigga V's bought his dad a, a shop and all kind of cars and shit. Yeah. Early, had to bust the shop open, you know what I'm saying? I get up every day, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do to the tour start. They can push big 6-3. They can push big 6-3, boy. It's a 15, but fuck it. My son bought it. <laughs> V's bought me this. <coughs> he bought me this in 15. That's when he first started getting money. He bought me the Honda Accord. Let me see if I got some more shit in here for y'all. <laughs> I'm somebody's dad. Y'all want some bleach? See if I got. Oh yeah, I got something in here for y'all. Y'all want some merch? We keep merch. 
Ganger. We keep gangers. This is my little, what you call them, collection. Some of the stuff I've been collecting since, since V's been uh, touring. Y'all ain't got this. Y'all ain't got that. Y'all ain't got none of these. Y'all ain't got, uh, what? <clears throat> oh, look. Ray, Babyface Ray signed this for me. Shout out to Ray. Face Mob. Oh, that's when we was backstage, you know what I'm saying? I got vintage pieces, you understand? You bums. Ha, 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 ha. This first joint. Y'all ain't got no first joints. Drugs ain't even that serious, fam. Drugs ain't even that serious. Y'all ain't got that, do y'all? I'm not baby's peppy. I got some more stuff at the crib that I've been collecting. <coughs> hey, man. Damn, I, I love, love my it. son. Damn, I love my son. <coughs> Man, fanning out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? For your son like this, that's 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 fire. Time to get negative. One thing, for, all right. Well, first thing, I may be reading too much. I, I, of course, he's my real nigga. We gotta love this this whole situation. I kind of got the idea that maybe he wasn't in his life all the time. Why you say that? I don't know. I just got that feeling. It's not that it mattered. Obviously, I got a good relation with him. It's like he's like extra excited that. I don't know. I guess he must just be all his accolades just got him excited like that. I don't. I don't think it's that. I think that you know he probably got online after a con you could see he was sitting with some people. You know what I'm saying? After a conversation or some shit, he probably lead them cars up there or have somebody drive them type shit. But um, I don't know. He might have trying to been trying to flex that day, but it don't really come off like that to me. Yeah, I might just be looking too far into it. I my only thing the, was my the, only thing was why did he keep all that stuff up at the shop? Keep that at your house. Unless he must be trying to show off that V's his son. Well, you talking about like having all the cars and shit like that? Oh, no, the cars don't matter. Like, bro, keep your cars up there. It's your shop. My thing was like, why you got all that memorabilia up at the, at the shop? It's a it's a mechanic shop. You talking about like the, the, the suitcase or shit? Yeah, the suitcase full of the term, tour merch. Well, I do think that he keeps it up there for conversation. Like, <coughs> oh, yeah, this is my son. You know, when people come, he can always show something. You know what I'm saying? When, yeah. we, when we did our last tour, this is some of the stuff that I collected type shit. But he did say early on in the video, this is what I do before the tour starts. So he could be keeping it there like, okay, I'm always up at the shop. I know I'm going to get picked up from the shop when we go on tour type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is suitcase comes with me everywhere. It's something like that. I don't know. Even for myself, I think it's easy to keep personal dear things at your shop like that when you have one. You know what I mean? Okay. I got you. I respect it. Also, OG, if you're listening, tell your son to get off them pills in that cup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got this one UPS man, or it might be a FedEx man. I can't remember. We'll find out when I play the video. Somebody was trying to steal FedEx. a package, and he was standing on business. FedEx, y'all. Yeah. Oh no! No, who are you? No. Open the door. Abre la puerta. No. I don't know. I'm gonna call the police. I call the police now. Hey, what's going on? Hello? Okay? Got you. Got you. Yo! Hey, what's going on? There's a there's a guy in the Hyundai. He tried to steal your things. <coughs> Bro, it's thirsty to steal them packages. For real. <laughs> hey, man, do like me. Wait till they get on the doorstep. I'm just playing. I don't steal <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got this one uh, boxing trainer. Now, it was kind of corny that he jumped in and fought the nigga, but, bro, he had some hands for that nigga. He definitely did. I don't know if I could play it on the YouTube or not, but fuck it. Yeah, I'm playing it. It's, it's boxing. Damn, what happened? I'm about to talk to you acting weird, man. All right, so he, he, gave, he gave brother dummies. And you can tell he had been whooping on that nigga the whole fight. Ooh. And they're brawling. now fighting his brother, his trainer. And now it's getting ugly. Hey, that trainer hit him with a solid one. That first one yeah, that almost rocked his head. Yeah, that, yeah that, that first one had his, weed, had his knees weak. Pause. Yeah, for real. 
Look at him when he hit the nigga. Hit the nigga with the first one. Hold on. Let me get it. Hold on, look at him. He's like, hold on. He, For real? He said, hold on. He said, hold on. This nigga kind of nice. That nigga hit the ropes and said, I was boxing the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the trainer should have been in the ring <laughs> fighting, bro. The trainer was more fire than the nigga that was Bruh. fighting. Bro, he look at he looked at him. He like, my bad, Poppy. Straight up. <laughs> he like, don't hit me no more, Poppy. That's crazy. Now I will say the the trainer really <coughs> looked like he was just jumping in to talk some shit, but the way the bro, bro ran up, shit, I would have threw them hands too. Yeah, he ran up. Hey, now that I think about it, look like he ran up to him. Like he, yeah, look the, at trainer, that. the trainer, the trainer talking in the shit, and then look. Oh yeah, he's throwing a punch. He threw a punch first. Five. Yeah, he threw a punch first. He like, oh, I'm gonna hit you before he hit me. He coming all the way back with the punch. The, yep. tra- the trainer yep. just quicker than him. One hundred percent quick draw McGraw. Look like, yeah, real time. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I hit him with a good one and then stepped off. Let's go. Yeah. This what I this what I trained him on. He just ain't execute. Yeah, he just, he just, he just <laughs> ass. Hey, man. It is what it is. I got this one dude, man. He got full custody of his kids. I mean, full custody. His baby mama was not letting him see his kids at all. The court said, bet. You want to play like that? He get full custody. That's what's up. That's a good hey, ladies out there. I know we don't got no scorn women, but if we do got some scorn women with uh, that's that's baby mamas. A good way to lose custody of your kids is not letting your your uh, baby daddy see his kids at all. Happens every time. And them kids look happy as hell too. So. Yeah, like they was happy as fuck. They like they didn't want to be with the mom. Right. Good. Right. Mm. Is them kids speaking Spanish? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he got him. He had he got him a, a lot of Annika pregnant. <laughs> and he got a he, he got a few kids now. Yeah. <coughs> but that's what's up. Even for him to have them all with the same woman, you know what I'm saying, and be able to get them all like. Bro, that's a bro. That is a brand new baby. You know how much of a bad woman you got to be to lose, that lose custody uh, of a of a, t- uh, a baby. That baby looks like that baby like they about four months yeah. at, at that. You got to be a terrible lady. All right, it's on you, Joseph. Uh, I got this nigga that uh, can't play it on a YouTube, but this nigga, yeah, I'll he beat his baby, uh, his his mom's boyfriend is abusive, hmm. and he beat the nigga up every time he see him. <laughs> Y'all can't just stop. hear. It. This a big. What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, this like Blanca pulling up on you. Oh, he got a, it's a compilation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at, bro, look at how he grabbed that nigga. Oh. He DDT'd that nigga from a headlock. <laughs> Salute him, but at what point do you got to tell your mom to leave that nigga? Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, bro, cause you. Can't. Well, she might love that nigga, <clears throat> and he just need to learn to stop putting his hands on her. So he he yeah. taught him. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. But at some point, he gotta be like, all right, now nah, I'm. Gonna yeah, be, that's real. He's gonna eventually get in trouble beating that nigga up in the streets yeah, like that, or he'll get shot. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Every every man has this. Oh, every person has their limits. Yeah. You going you ain't gonna be beating me up every day, especially well, if, no. Every time you see me, fuck. Yeah, every no. time you see me, especially I'm not gonna be grocery shopping and that, you come beat my ass. <laughs> that last one, that's in the streets now. Like yeah. it, like it was in front of a barber shop. I'm yeah. getting a fade, and then I'm getting another fade when yeah. I leave out the door. All right, now you getting shot. Getting you getting faded. <laughs> <laughs> fade on fade, bro. <laughs> All right, I don't know if this real or not. Y'all been y'all been spreading this around. I don't know if it's real, but let's hope. I guess I don't know. Uh, this one's from Marcel, the final real nigga of the week. He said, uh, "Red Lobster is no longer in bankruptcy." Thirty-five year old Damola Abin. Man, this is an African scam. African ass nigga <coughs> is a new CEO and promised better service, food and interiors, but no more twenty dollar unlimited shrimp. On the standard menu, we're making a comeback. I feel like that would have been 
a bigger news <coughs> circuit if that were true. Nick, every everyone loves Red Lobster. Yeah, like this, this is some say cheese shit. Only reason I added it because a bunch of people is adding is they real nigga of the week. I'm gonna be honest though. Also, let's say this is real. I don't know if you noticed, but all the Fred Lobsters are pretty much closed in Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. So let's say he did <laughs> make this happen, nigga. Uh, we ain't gonna get we ain't gonna experience it because all the fucking Red Lobsters closed. So unless he gonna open them back up, which I strongly doubt he's gonna do. But uh, if this is real, salute to him. Well, it says that that they're exiting the um, <coughs> the chapter nine. I mean, the chapter eleven. So maybe some ground to it. Yeah, it might be. It, okay. It's saying that uh, a judge approved their plan to bounce back from the <laughs> endless shrimp fiasco. Mm, that's what did. You know, I said this man. You know what to help them if they would have added like a brunch type menu to that shit. Mm-hmm. If they would start serving grits and shrimp and like mimosas and shit, that would have turned Red Lobster up instantly. That's real. Um, it does say that they got a new owner. I'm trying to find the name of the owner, but... Yeah, apparently the dude, he's supposed to be, like, CEO. Yeah. Um, I don't know about what the... Okay, the old... They only got the old CEO listed here, but... um. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there's some grounds to it. I don't know. A 35-year-old CEO. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, man. I don't eat Red Lobster anyway, but it, I just, I, I'm for a black man on the come up, so. Yeah, if that's the case, but then. Yeah, I'm yeah. not eating Red Lobster. But like I said, if y'all add some cheese grits to the menu, I'm I'm there, bro. I'm any I'm anywhere with some good, some good-ass grits. Fuck them grits. 